Boy Kashar. It is I, Randall, the clickbait crusader, coming at you with that gangster fire. On the 21st of July, Hollywood reporter ran a story claiming that Ben Affleck's future as Batman was in doubt. This article included such gems as Affleck will turn 45 in August, so he will be pushing 50 before the Batman arrives in theaters. If Reeves makes a trilogy, Affleck would be in his mid-50s at best by the time that's done. Maybe Tom Cruise could pull that off, but Affleck's body hasn't exactly been a temple. This gutter journalism was written by Kim Masters. She has a blue tick next to her name. Usually she writes about politics and tweets to other women who also have blue ticks next their names, complaining about Trump. We're not sure why she suddenly gave two shits about Batfleck, but Hollywood Reporter is no different to the old news media. They publish stories based on the right time, when everyone is actively seeking out stories about Batman, Justice League and DCEU. What better time to release this article than the day before Comic Con? Clicks and views equal. Most likely they got wind of Warner Brothers' plan to make a Flashpoint movie, which could potentially see Affleck taking a break from being Batman, followed by Nightwing and Batgirl movies. But they don't want to give credit to the DCEU for building a universe in new and exciting ways. Instead they spin these stories as future in doubt. Usher out Affleck's Batman. Affleck has left the DCEU as Batman. With sites and fans exchanging angry words on social media. All eyes were on Ben Affleck the next day on the Justice League panel at Comic Con. Ben, uh, there have been some stories in the past day or so, and they just kind of want to know, you I know. I know, let me be very clear. I am the luckiest guy in the world. Batman is the coolest fucking part in any universe. DC, Marvel, it's incredible. And, uh, you know, I, I'm so thrilled to do it. I know there's this misconception because I didn't direct it that maybe I wasn't enthusiastic about it. It's fucking amazing. And, and I still can't believe it after two films and have this history with this great studio and, you know, Kevin Sujihara and Sue Kroll and Toby Emmerich have said to me, we want you to be our Batman. And, you know, um, I, I believe him. And with Matt Reeves doing it, it's like I would be a fucking ape on the ground for Matt Reeves. Never mind being Batman. It's incredible. You would think that would be the end of it, but if Warner Brothers take the DCEU in the direction I believe, certain people are still going to claim they were right. Pathetic. And after the awesomeness of the Justice League posters and trailers, these unreliable reporters moved on to something else. Here's Ray Fisher's response. What's up with the reshoots? Are you guys secretly filming part two already? Thank you. <laughs> well, if it's a secret, we can't tell you that, first off, right? Um, no, I think we're just about finished with everything. Um, they've been brief, if anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, Josh is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. The same people who are praising Joss Sweden right now to push their agenda against Zack Snyder will also be hating on Joss Whedon for making his Batgirl, and not theirs. This is Zack Snyder's Justice League, and there's not a damn thing you haters can do about it. 